He's not the big one that I was after, but he's one of those goblin ones. You can tell he's been strutting, look at that. Yo, know, just to let you know, it's about 11.40ish. I think, I've been hunting this ridge the past two days, actually three days. And every morning I got up here, the main, the goblet that roosts right here, always, always, he's always alone. I'm guessing he's probably the one of them that got kicked off. He's always alone. He always come up to me with the hangs up within our 60 yards, no matter which way I set up, the way he comes, he always hangs up. And the day, like two days ago, over there in the back, that's why I was going through the end of the pines, cause I had one that was drumming, gobbling like crazy. Way in the back over there, hung up. These public land birds, I tell you, they're really smart. He hung up about 60 yards too, drumming like crazy, gobbling like crazy. But when he show up, when he pop out of thick pines to my decoys, and the one from yet, I, the one right here yesterday, he saw my decoys and he got spooked. Public land birds are smart, I tell you. This one I just snuck up on. I, you see those that little pine tree over there? A little bit tiny one right there. I walked up to there and he was just feeding. I was like, is that somebody's decoy? Because I know there's another hunter over here. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's moving, it's pecking. No, there's no decoy. Woo! Public land hunters, turkey hunter, two this year. Right there, baby. That's a thick beard, man. Holy cow, look at that thing. Sorry I couldn't get the shot on film. It happened too fast. Every day I climb this bridge. 4 a.m. I'll climb this bridge in the sand path right here. Every time I come back mid morning, I'll see prints over my old prints. The prints I walk up in. Now I see turkey tracks coming back with me. They gotta be here somewhere. I sat here yesterday mid morning, nothing. And I guess. I just got perfect timing. I thought it was somebody's decoy. I was like, what? But then it's pecking, it's moving. It's such a big, realistic decoy. Wow. I'm so shocked. Man, I love my gun too, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't have shot that if I never patterned my gun here. I know I can shoot up to 60 yards with this baby really good. And I picked that shot. Got him. That's far from here to... I had to go around. Shrimp way over there. Awesome, man. Awesome. Also, windy day, use it to my advantage. They didn't hear me sneaking up because I saw him when I was way over there and I snuck up. Actually, it wasn't this pine tree, it was a little mini pine over there. This one right here that I shot from. I thought this was actually that one right there from behind this walk. That's why it looks far from right there to that same. That is about 50 yards when I shot him. I right, just got this baby tagged up and head home, man. I'm a happy hunter. Yeah. It's just funny, you know. Didn't call, couldn't call him in. Two days got these birds hanging up on me. Every morning they hang up on me. Every morning they hang up on me. I'm just glad I got this guy. Yeah. Use your non, your brain, man. Use your brain. Yeah, you can tell I'm excited. Woo!